Jason McCann here with Mountain Tactical. I thought I'd take a moment and address the most common question we receive, and that is, do I get a 0 MOA optic mount or a 20 MOA optic mount? And so, in order to explain why we make the suggestions that we make, I thought I'd take a minute, explain what minute of angle is, how it affects the rifle system, and why you want to choose one over the other. So, let's dive into this. Alright, so what is MOA? MOA is an angular unit of measurement. So many times when somebody asks, you know, which rail they want to go with, they actually think we're referring to the height. And what we're actually referring to is the built-in cant that we cut into the rail. So, how, where does MOA come from? MOA comes from actually the compass roads. It's been used to circumnavigate uh, the world for, well, as long as we've had the compass roads. Remember high school uh, <laughs> geometry, there's 360 degrees in a circle. Now, 360 degrees can be broken down into little bits. And so, one degree has 60 minutes of angle to it. One minute of angle has 60 seconds to it. And then you can break that down into further decimal points as well. So, a very exaggerated blue line here, 20 MOA is a very, very thin sliver uh, of the circle here. Now, how does that relate to a linear unit of measurement? And so, one minute of angle at 100 yards is roughly 1.047 inches. 200 yards, double that, 300 yards, triple that. You can see as we extend out from the circle, that linear gap becomes larger. So, let's dive into how this relates to the optic on your rifle. All right, we're not circumnavigating the globe. Let's see how this actually applies to our firearm. So, zero MOA rails or zero MOA optic mounts have been the way we've mounted modern optics to the modern rifle for, well, since the modern optic and the modern rifle. And so what you have here is you have your line of sight. And all we're doing with the rail is we're manipulating the line of sight. So with a zero MOA rail, your line of sight is parallel to the bore of your rifle. And that's the way it's been done forever, and um, you kind of ask yourself, why do we need 20, 30, 40 MOA mounts when this has worked for so long? Well, let's take a look at that. All right, so as I said earlier, we're using the optic mount to manipulate the barrel sight relationship. And so, with a 20 MOA rail, and this is a little exaggerated, guys, so don't think we're going to be, you know, driving your scope into your barrel. But with a 20 MOA rail, your line of sight is now downward compared to the bore. So, 20 minutes of angle equals one third of a degree, or 0.33 repeating degrees. And what we're doing is we're gaining unused MOA in your scope. So, as you can see here, whether you get a zero or 20 MOA rail has nothing to do with your rifle. Your rifle's static. What it has to do with is your optic. So let's dive into what's happening inside your optic as we're manipulating this bore sight relationship. All right, so we've established that whether you go zero or 20 MOA is a function of your optic. So let's take a look at a couple different optics and see when a zero MOA rail would be appropriate and when a 20 MOA rail would be appropriate. So first off, let's say you just have a one inch tube, you know, standard duplex reticle, uh, something that you would typically see in like a Leupold Berry X2 or something like that. And uh, typically those scopes have roughly 40 minutes of angle of internal elevation adjustment. So what this means is that when your scope is zero, that 100 or 200 yards, you're gonna be right in the middle of that adjustment. So it's important to understand that your reticle has, floats on a turret, or there's a couple different mechanisms uh, that scopes use, but essentially your reticle is floating inside your optic and can be adjusted you know, left, right for windage, up, down for elevation. And so when you're zeroed, you're approximately dead center of this mechanism, depending on your scope. So you would have 20 minutes of angle of upward elevation adjustment, 
20 MOA of downward elevation adjustment. Now it's important to note that the final 10% of any scope is the least reliable part of the, the adjustment in any turret. And so if you put a 20 minute of angle rail on here, you're going to use up all your adjustment area and you may not get a zero at 100 or 200 yards. You might have to zero at three, four, five hundred yards. And so this is a situation where we would actually recommend a zero MOA rail instead of a 20 MOA rail because you just will not be able to get a reliable zero. And the general rule of thumb is if you have 50 minutes of angle or less, then you want to go with a zero MOA rail. If you have 50 minutes of angle or more, or 51 minutes of angle or more, go with a 20 MOA rail. So that way you're not bumping into this unreliable section of your optic mount. So let's take a look at when a 20 MOA rail would be appropriate. All right, so let's take a look at an optic that has 60 minutes of angle inside of it. Now, if you're zeroed at 100 or 200 yards, and I, and I use that interchangeably because the zero is pretty much the same, um, your reticle, your target, you're going to be hitting right there, and you're going to have roughly 30 minutes of angle up, 30 minutes of angle down. I don't know about you, but I've never dialed for a close-up shot. I'm always dialing for a long-range shot. So, on this particular optic, if I put a 20 minute angle rail underneath it and I change nothing else, all of a sudden I'm going to be 20 MOA high downrange, which is going to equate to about 20 inches at 100 yards or 40 inches at 200 yards. And I'm going to have to dial my turret back down to get my zero. Now when I do that, that means instead of having 30 up and 30 down, I now have 10 down and 50 up. And I'm utilizing MOA in my reticle that otherwise was being wasted. Let's look at a modern centerfire cartridge and see how a 20 MOA rail will actually affect that. So let's take a look at the 6.5 Creedmoor. Now Hornady just launched their 143 grain ELDX ammo, which is pretty impressive. So it's the ELDX, and it's for it's a hunting, actually a long range hunting ammo. So they say on the box it'll go 2700 feet per second. Now, how does that equate uh, to everything we're talking about here? Well, if you're zero MOA and you have 30 minutes of angle worth of adjustment, as we looked at in our 60 MOA scope, you only actually have 30 MOA to play with, that, pull out our handy dandy ballistic calculator, that'll get you 950 yards. Obviously it's sea level, so depending on where you're at, that could change. Now what happens if we add 20 minutes of angle to this and we can actually go to 50 MOA? It's more than 1,200. It's 1,310 yards. That is a massive improvement over a zero MOA rail. Would I ever take a shot hunting at 1310? Absolutely not. But it's still fun, target shooting. I mean, this ammo is not that expensive. So you can go out, do some long range shooting, take your rifle, go out, shoot a long range competition, and confidently be able to dial to the ranges that would exist in that type of environment. So. If you have any questions, as always, contact us at the shop. Happy shooting, everybody.